Kelly Shaw with the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. We're up near Jackson and Teton area. Has a long history of Bigfoot sightings. So we're up here taking a look around to what we can find. Some of the Bigfoot sightings, I believe, come out of the Snake River Canyon. A lot of the places in Idaho and Wyoming near the Snake River seem to have a lot of Bigfoot sightings. It makes sense. The water brings in a food source and then of course it's a reliable form of water. Why not? So we're going to stick to areas near the Snake River Canyon. While we look around the area for Bigfoot and Bigfoot evidence, I would like to give you a couple of the Bigfoot sighting reports that motivate us to come into the area. This was in the Idaho Falls Post Register, Wednesday, June 18th, 1980. Jackson, Wyoming. Two men reported seeing a Bigfoot-like creature on Snow King Mountain near Jackson, Wyoming. Early Tuesday morning, a spokesman for the Jackson Police Department said Robert Goodrich and Gled Towner, no hometown or ages listed, reported to police that they were chased off Snow King Mountain by a Bigfoot-like creature. They reported it 12 feet tall with long dark hair and arms that hung almost to the ground. The two men said they were going to visit a friend who had built a lean-to on the mountain when they encountered the creature. Goodrich and Towner told police that they ran when they spotted the creature, and then it followed them. The last time they saw the creature, it was standing under a street light near the Ramada Snow King Inn in Jackson, the spokesman said. The two men said that they were going back Tuesday to take pictures of any possible tracks and to see if they could find their friend. The police reported that the two men had not been drinking. Very interesting encounter reported to police back in 1980. This is one of many Bigfoot sighting reports that bring us here to look for Bigfoots. I grew up around this area, south of Jackson and the Tetons. My parents had quite a bit of camping property and we spent every summer there growing up so I feel at home in these areas between uh, my parents property Jackson Palisades and Yellowstone National Forest just a wonderful place we're gonna show you guys around and give you another sighting report the next Bigfoot sighting in the area I'm gonna go over was reported to the BFRO back in 2001 this is what they reported. Family sees massive ape just after daybreak near Grand Teton National Park. I'll include a link to that report in the description of this video. Make sure you go and read that. They're very interesting. Here goes the report. June 20th, 1994. We rented small cabins just a small ways from the Grand Canyon. There were lots of cabins for rent. I believe it was on Teton Lake. The mountains with snow were around the lake. A big lodge was just up the road with moose eating grass in the water behind the lodge. The siding was a short ways away from the cabins, heading towards the Grand Canyon. It is the only field with tall green grass and water running through it before the canyon. You drive into the timber and climb uphill out of sight of the water and just past the water. It's not far from the cabins up that road. We visited Yellowstone National Park and rented a cabin near Teton Lake. My wife and two sons were with me. We left one morning just after dawn to visit the Grand Canyon on the Yellowstone and see the sights. A short ways up the road, I looked to the right and there was this big open flat filled with a body of water running through it, about nine foot wide. The tall green grass was about waist high. It was a beautiful sight. About 60 yards or so, I saw a tall, dark, hairy figure standing close to the water. It stood seven foot tall, and its back was to us, and its head was turned to the left. Its features were massive and very powerful. It was no bear, because it heard our van and saw us, and took off walking like a man. Its stride was long, with its arms swinging as it walked. My entire family all saw exactly the same thing. The light visibility was very good. I told all the family members to keep their eyes on this creature and to look at nothing else. We finally drove our car through some trees on the road and could no longer see the creature. The BFRO investigator did not leave his name with the report. 
Here's the follow-up investigation. Witness was 51, elaborated on the creature's physical characteristics during the interview. The man said, as he stared at the creature, he resolved more details. It had almost human facial features, a big thick neck, a massive skull, big huge arms like a gorilla, a big back, kind of dented in. I don't know how else to explain it. Massive legs, a big butt. Its head was cocked to the left and it was staring out across the water, not moving. He stressed that the animal could not have been either a bear or a fisherman. I got a good look at that thing and it was massive. It's no bear. It was no fisherman. This thing was hairy from head to toe. There is absolutely no way that's a fisherman. My first thought was it was a grizzly because of the size and coloration. The witness said he has bear hunted before. I've seen pictures of Sasquatch on TV. This looked like that, although it might have even been bigger around. This thing is real, and it's a big ape. It's got arms on him like a tree trunk. Thank you for contacting someone with your Bigfoot sighting reports. If any of you have had a Bigfoot sighting report, please email us at rmsobigfoot at gmail.com. We love to go investigate uh, Bigfoot sighting locations, especially if there's a long history of them. This is just two of dozens of Bigfoot sighting reports in the Rocky Mountains between the Jackson Teton area all the way up to Yellowstone National Park. It's just a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Um, some of the biggest concentrations of Bigfoot sightings in the Rocky Mountains. We're looking for uh, Bigfoot evidence up here uh, near the, the Tetons, the Snake River Valley, and uh, have found bear poo. And the bears are trying to get enough to eat before cold. Finding some currents. Jenny just found some currents up here. But we're going to look around for Bigfoot evidence. What's behind the Bigfoot sightings? Is it the food and the water sources? Bear scat, bear signs, the bear tracks led us to a bear. Obviously we're out here for Bigfoot, but Bigfoot may be eating the same thing that this bear is. In order for such a large primate to survive, I have this feeling that it's an opportunist, an omnivore. It'll eat the berries, the nuts, the fish, the occasional deer, elk, what have you. And it may be like a moose. A moose can eat the pine needles and the twigs of the trees. So who knows what Bigfoot eats, but I'm sure it has a huge diet. And it's probably here for the same reason this bear that we found is. I hope you enjoyed. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.